I felt something creeping up from behind me, and as I turned to look, I was confronted with a creature that had snakes for hair. Her eyes were glowing, and she covered her face as if it were painful for her to gaze upon me. I got back on my feet as quickly as possible and started to run in the opposite direction. I could hear the snakes in her hair, so I knew she was close. I slowly looked through the trees, and I saw her frantically looking in all directions. I was being hunted, and I needed to get out of the cemetery before it was too late. I waited for her to look away, and tried to create as much distance from her as I could. Little did I know, I had also closed the distance between myself and a second creature of the night. This one seemed far more sinister, and I was unable to escape her gaze. I felt cold, numb, and a terrible sensation that my soul was being torn from the rest of my body. Then suddenly I felt a cold hand cover both of my eyes. I first tried to resist, but when I realized the numbness had gone away, I decided to stop fighting. I reached out and grabbed what felt like a piece of cloth, which then tore off in my hand. As soon as I realized I was free, I got back up and ran as fast as I could. I reached a clearing in the middle of the cemetery. I could hear the sound of snakes all around me, and all I could think about was that deathly stare and how it slowly drained my life away. I looked down at the cloth in my hand and recognized it as a piece of clothing, most likely from a dress of some kind. I used it as a blindfold, as I figured it could offer some sort of protection. I could still see the bright moon through the thin cloth, which I could use to navigate to the other end of the graveyard. I slowly crept through the forest, as quietly as I could. I knew the journey was going to be treacherous, but it was all I could think of at the time. After making my way through the thickness of the forest and holding on to every branch I could find, I slipped and fell. I felt that same cold hand clutching onto my arm. I was not afraid at this point. I didn't feel threatened by her presence. I figured she knew the forest better than anyone, and who was I to question the best chance of finding a way out? So I let her guide me through the forest. Eventually, I could no longer feel any branches or her ghostly presence guiding me forward. I could sense that I had reached the other end of the cemetery, and when I removed my blindfold, I found myself standing before the gate. I felt relieved to see that it was open. I looked back at the dark forest, but there was no sign of life. All those ghost stories of people missing, strange sightings, were true. I never believed any of it, but I had witnessed the truth. <laughs> 